you guys so here is a quick video on how i moisturize my daughter malia's hair she's 14 months and i finally got down how to keep her hair soft and moisturized so the first thing i do is wet her hair um i am just using a spray bottle today but sometimes i do like to just rinse it out um when she's in the bathtub i don't use shampoo and i don't co-wash her hair yet i don't feel like it's necessary um so yeah i just use water to kind of cleanse her hair i guess After I have her hair all wet, I like to just detangle her hair and wetting it makes it super easy to detangle. And as you can see, I'm just detangling her hair with it all out. Her hair is not hard to detangle at all. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm thinking it's because I put her hair in ponytails now because when I used to leave her hair all out in a fro, it would get so matted. But if it's hard for you to detangle your child's hair, then you can detangle in sections. Also, if your child is like mine, then they probably get a ton of lint in their hair and you can easily get that out with like a smaller tooth comb because it is so annoying trying to get it out of their hair. Once her hair is all detangled, I like to add my favorite product for her hair. It is the Cantu for Kids Curling Cream. This is like my favorite product for her hair. It's super thick, creamy, smells good, leaves her hair soft and curly, and yeah, it's just the best. And I've had to learn what works on her hair. I used to just like use Shea Moisture conditioners and that was like the most horrible decision on my part. But pretty much how I've learned what products to use, I just use what I use on my hair. So I've used what Camille Rose on her hair. I've used, um, what else? Um, the brand Curls. I've just used whatever I have in my stash and it has worked great on her hair. But I do highly recommend this Cantu product if you're into like the kids products because um, yeah, it's super good. What keeps her hair super moisturized is making sure to seal in the moisture with an oil. So as you guys see, I'm using Jamaican black castor oil. You can use whatever oil you want, but if you're using this oil, make sure you don't use too much because it is a heavier oil and it can make um, your hair like way down or too oily, but a little bit goes a long way and that is how I moisturize her hair, you guys. So, um, you're just gonna see me doing her hair and putting it into four ponytails. And I know the parts and stuff are not perfect, but she does not sit still, as you can see. So, it's okay. She's a little girl. Nobody's paying attention attention to her parts but um i just wanted to use this time to say that putting her hair into ponytails has been like the best decision as many of you know i used to just let her hair be in a fro and i feel like her hair just got so dry being in the fro because you know she's playing around and rolling all over and stuff um and then it was just always matted and had lint all over but putting it in ponytails like i said is easier to detangle easier to keep moisturized um i do do her hair every day just because you know it gets smushed or gets lint or something but some days all i do is take out the ponytail re-wet it and um you know finger detangle put it back in the ponytail and that's it um but if i do feel like her hair needs more moisture i will add some more product but that can too it just does its job it leaves her hair moisturized um for a good few days um and yeah I also wanted to point out if you're going to be using ponytails, make sure that you um, just loosen them up as you'll see me doing because you do not want your child's hair to break at all. Yeah. 
sorry if I'm talking a lot, but I wanted to get as much information in this video as I can. Um, I also wanted to just say that I didn't start putting hair products in her hair until she was five months. And before then, I was just using plain water to moisturize her hair because then that's when she had, you know, that soft, silky baby, you know, baby texture that you get when you're first born. But um, once she was five months, that's when her kinky dry hair started to form so you know I definitely had to keep it more moisturized so yeah you guys this is pretty much how I moisturize her hair um, I do this probably every couple of days like I said some days all I have to do is just re-wet her ponytails and um you know call it a day So this is the finished result, her cute little ponytails. I love putting her hair in ponytails, you guys. It's so cute. But um, yeah, comment down below and thumbs this video up if you want me to do more videos of her hair. I want to do mini twists. I want to show you guys the quick styles I do on her. I just want to do so much to her hair and I can't wait to experiment. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Bye!